Okay, continuing where we left off, last time we added in a um, little image cursor here, which is great. But you don't necessarily want the cursor up all the time, like while you're playing the game. So what we're going to do is we're going to set it so that the cursor's pretty much invisible unless you're moving it. And after you stop moving it after a couple seconds, it goes away. Uh, so what we need to do is go into the logic editor and uh, we have our plane over here selected with the cursor on it and we're going to leave these things alone right here but what we're going to do here is we're going to add another mouse sensor and it's going to be mouse movement and what we're going to do here is when the mouse moves we want to make let's make this full screen so you can see better um, the mouse visibility set to true, so visibility equals true. I also just found out by accident that if I click here, normally we add in that little end thing. If you try to connect these directly, it automatically puts an end thing, so it saves you a half a second there. So that will make it visible, which it already is, but how do we make it invisible? What we're going to do is we're going to say always, and we're going to set true post mode, post mode set to true, which just means that this will run, it always runs, but it runs so many frames. So here, zero means no delay, it's constantly going. Um, but the higher the number, basically the longer the space between when it pulses, when it runs. So I'm gonna set it to something like, I don't know, 150, we'll play with the numbers and see what we get. But what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add another visibility and uncheck it. So every time this runs right here, and we'll call this hide every time we run this here it's going to make the cursor invisible but then again the second we move it again it's going to become invisible so now that we have that set up if we run the game you can see you don't see the cursor but as soon as we start moving it, you can see the cursor as long as I'm moving you can see the cursor if I stop moving it it disappears so that's pretty much it that's the extent of this tutorial. Uh, we'll have another look at it real quick here and see what we did. So let's click here. So basically what we did was uh, we have what we did last time to show the mouse cursor right here with the script. But now anytime the mouse moves, it becomes visible. And then whether the mouse is moving or not, every 150 frames, it's going to become invisible. So really, even though we're moving it when we're moving it, it does go invisible every once in a while but it's only for a frame at the most. And if the game is running, depending on the speed of your computer, you know, 15, 30, 60 frames a second, depending you know, on the speed of your computer, uh, <coughs> it's, it's a fraction of a second, so you're probably not even gonna notice it disappear before it reappears. Um, and that's it, very simple. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description. Also visit this project's link, filmsbychris.com forward slash POP, for more information on this project, uh, where you can go to get the files, and uh, also uh, links to uh, more videos and playlists. So I thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.